My name is Morgan Neville, and I'm director of Won't You Be My Neighbor in the Documentary Premieres category. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor, would you be mine? Those of us who grew up with Fred Rogers remember him from a time in our lives it's before we had taken on all the baggage of being an adult, you know, politically, culturally. We were just children, and I feel in a way he's somebody that speaks to first principles of how we should behave in our neighborhood. And if you think of the neighborhood really as community, and being a neighbor as being a citizen, that's the lesson I think Fred's trying to teach us. How can we look out for each other as neighbors? Please won't you be my neighbor? For a long time, I've been wondering where are all the grown-up voices in our culture. And one day when watching a viral video that somebody had sent around of Fred Rogers testifying in the Senate in 1969, there was something about it, hearing it today, that reminded me of the kind of voice I felt like I needed to hear and I feel like our culture needs to hear. I mean, what's extraordinary about what Fred Rogers did on this kids' TV show for two to six-year-olds was he created basically a parable machine where through the land of make-believe, you could discuss anything. You could discuss how to be a good neighbor, how to treat other people, how to deal with fear, uh, how to deal with bullies, how to deal with all kinds of things. And I think, really, when you go back and look at these shows, you realize how much wisdom is baked into every single episode. In that way, it's kind of revolutionary what he was doing. Essentially, if you boil down Fred Rogers' message to one bumper sticker, it would be radical kindness. It's that idea that kindness is the thing above all that we have to honor. Kindness not only to others, but kindness to ourselves.